Hey, it's Random Code here, and today I'm going to show you this little example I made in JavaFX and how we can do freight transitions. So I just created a very simple program where we have this blue rectangle. I can then fade it out. And I can then have it fade in again. And these fade in, fade out is not connected, so I can technically just keep fading it in, even though it's still here. So now we can fade in, we can fade in, we can fade out whatever we want. So we just simply start a transition and this transition is played. So first let's have a look inside the scene builder. We just have a very simple setup with a blue rectangle and two buttons. A black rectangle have an ID and my buttons have an action call. Inside my controller I then have this setup with my rectangle and my two button calls. Whenever I then fade in, I then create a new fade transition with a duration of two seconds, and it's going to be fading my rectangle. Then set a start from value. So if we look at it, so when we're fading in, we start the fade with fully. So at first it's fully faded, so it's invisible. And then it's zero at the end, so it's not faded at all, so it's visible. And then we start the transition, and we do the opposite with the fade out. But first, we are not faded at all, and then we move to being fully faded. So we start at zero fade and then one fade, kind of 2% faded and 100% faded. And then when we combine the, yeah, them, we get this pretty amazing fade out and fade in. And we could definitely just add them to be one transition where it would be like jumping in and out, for example. But it's very much a simple setup. It's all using this fade transition and then setting the fade values from one to zero or zero to one and then starting them on button click. So if you enjoyed this quick showcase of my great transition showcase with JavaFix, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.